Hey folks, all out the one here. Welcome to another review. Today on the review wheel we have this tiny little folding knife. The Nagao Higonokami. This is the smallest version they produce and I'm talking about tiny thing. There we go. It's essentially exactly the same as the full sized version. Um, I do have a video review of the full sized version also, please check the links below the video and uh, in the bubble and uh, you can see my review of the full sized version. Uh, ended up not particularly liking the full sized version for EDC use uh, due to the fact that it's kind of uh, a bit dangerous if you're putting too much pressure into a cutting task and uh, not great for that reason. But I went for the tiny version um, because it's so much more pocketable and actually um, for small tasks it's actually fairly safe um, this one seems to have come with a nice uh, heavy hinge as in uh, there's a lot of pressure on it so it um, stays in place more readily than uh, the larger one I had previously so there we have it it's uh, the same high carbon steel uh, as used in the larger knives uh, with that unique hand ground shape. Uh, the history of this factory in Japan goes back to the late 1800s, 1880s, 1890s, somewhere around there. Um, there's the maker's mark there on the solid one piece brass handle, folded brass handle. Uh, really like the simple, brutally simplistic design of this knife. Has a pinned hinge there. But for small everyday tasks, uh, such as uh, opening boxes, packaging, rope, string, uh, tape, all that kind of stuff. And even like you know, cutting up uh, some food or something along those lines, it's actually a really great knife for those purposes. Uh, out of the box, it was absolutely rubbish. Um, hardly had any edge to it at all. I'd you'd probably find it hard to cut yourself with it, <laughs> or anything else for that matter. Um, so I did slightly reprofile it on a grinder, and then finished off with uh, some diamond uh, and ceramic whetstones to finally get it to a decent edge that is actually usable. Uh, this steel is pretty hard um, but because the blade is actually relatively thick um, chipping is unlikely even on the uh, edge side and it's definitely a high quality steel the heat treatment has most likely been bang on. Um, so as I said, I've resharpened it once, been using it for about three weeks, and it's still at a good usable level of sharpness. But you may have better luck, yours may be sharp straight out of the box, but this one did take a little bit of work. Uh, did have a nice, very nice point on it. But the blade length is uh, four centimeters. It is a non locking knife. Therefore, uh, UK legal carry, no problems. Uh, fits really nicely along alongside. Fits really nicely alongside my other EDC items. Just disappears, disappears away in there, and works really well, like so. Some pressure is maintained on the blade to keep it open using this flattened out tang. If you just keep your thumb on there, it stops the uh, blade closing to some extent. You won't want to do anything too heavy with it, too much prying or push cutting, because uh, ultimately it can just close up on your finger and it's sharp right down to the very end. So it does act like a little guillotine and that's how the Big Brother version of this got me last time. But 
for a small knife that you're not putting too much pressure on this is actually excellent so I can recommend that's the Nagao Higonokami made in Japan by hand available in loads of places would definitely recommend I hope you've enjoyed this video review this is all out the one signing out for now don't forget to check out my website alphabushcraft.co.uk remember the best survival tool is ingenuity take care